I'm Donna Bush with your CID Television News Brief on this Monday. Three, two, go! Some 1,500 people of all ages signed up for the annual Deputy Governor's 5K Challenge held on Sunday. Excitement was in the air for what is considered the biggest walk run on the Cayman Islands calendar. Deputy Governor the Honorable Franz Manderson encouraged participants to care about their health after experiencing a health scare himself earlier this year. Runners and walkers took to the road, including Her Excellency Governor Jane Owen, seen here crossing the finish line. Three organizations are beneficiaries and will receive funds raised from registration and generous local sponsors. Loud Silent Voices, the Cayman Islands Red Cross and the United Against Bullying Foundation will all benefit. On Saturday, Her Excellency the Governor Jane Owen returned to Grand Cayman after a busy day visiting our sister islands. Premier the Honorable Wayne Panton joined her as Her Excellency as well as Deputy Premier the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly. Agriculture Minister the Honorable Jay Ebanks also made the trip as well as senior civil servants. The trip started with a breakfast hosted by Minister Jay Ebanks. From there, the island tour continued with a visit to the Central Caribbean Marine Institute ending at the Department of Environment. Other stops along the way included the Little Cayman Museum, National Trust and the Booby Nature Pond Reserve where she was able to view the wildlife through binoculars. The Little Cayman Agriculture Show was happening on Saturday as well and was officially declared open by Her Excellency. Hello, Brackers. Yeah. Well, following her visit to Little Cayman, Governor Owen then departed for Kim and Brack where she attended a special public welcome reception. There, she was met by Member of Parliament, Mr. Moses Kakarnal, on arrival. After introducing herself and talking to guests, Her Excellency offered some remarks. It is particularly special and particularly important to come and see the sister islands. I feel my welcome was not complete until I had landed here in Cayman Brac and also in Little Cayman uh, today. So thank you very much. Flying over the ocean uh, in that beautiful Twin Otter aircraft a little bit earlier on and thinking of the wonderful words of your national song, Beautiful Isle Cayman. Uh, it makes me feel that Cayman Brac really is the epitome of a blue green jewel in the middle of a, a pristine and wonderful ocean. A number of young musicians from the Cayman Brac community entertained those present with music, including steel pan playing. This week, the governor and the premier will travel to, to the United Kingdom to attend the coronation of their majesties, the king and queen, which will take place at Westminster Abbey on Saturday, the 6th of May. The governor and premier will then remain in the UK following the coronation to attend the Overseas Territories Joint Ministerial Council. The people of the Cayman Islands are preparing to celebrate the coronation of His Majesty the King Charles III, who will be crowned alongside the Queen Consort at a ceremony at Westminster Abbey, London. Again, that's happening this Saturday, May the 6th. The islands will commemorate the coronation with a special family-focused celebration to be held on Cardinal Avenue, right in the heart of Georgetown on the public holiday Monday. That's May the 8th from 4 to 8 p.m. The ascension of a new monarch is a historic event in the Cayman Islands as a United Kingdom overseas territories will honor His Majesty King Charles III and Her Majesty the Queen Consort in a way that is true to our country's culture. Now, the event is being hosted by Celebrate Cayman, the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture and Heritage and the Georgetown Revitalization Initiative. Let's have a look now at what we can expect our weather to look like tonight. Partly cloudy to cloudy skies with a 40% chance of showers and some possible thunder is expected. For you boaters out there, uh, seas will be high with wave heights of 3 to 5 feet, especially along the south and west coast. The two-day outlook is for cloudiness and some showers that are associated with the cold front that will linger over the Cayman Islands area through to Tuesday evening. A reminder that you can get more details on our local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky or you can check out the Weather Services Facebook page. That brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CID Television. I'm Donna Bush. Bye-bye, everyone.